Hey guys, this is Askar Gauri and in this video I'll talk about common file types that we deal with in Linux and how to identify their type. These file types are consistent across all Linux distributions. Visit my website www.nixeducation.com for more videos. Linux supports several different types of files such as regular files, directory files, softlink files and two types of special device files that are referred to as block and character device files. In addition, there are two more special file types called name pipes and sockets that Linux processes use for mutual communication. These file types are not discussed in this video. Unlike in Microsoft Windows, Linux does not always require an extension to a file to identify its type. However, Linux does offer two elementary commands called file and stat to ascertain a file's type. We can also use the ls command with the minus l switch to determine a file's type. I'll show you how to use these commands shortly. A regular file, also known as ordinary file, may contain text or binary data. This type of file may be a shell script, an executable program, a Python playbook, a configuration file, or a Linux command in an unreadable format. This is the most common file type that you'll find and work with in Linux. The long output of the ls command shows a hyphen character at the beginning of line entries to identify the files as regular files. Let's run the ls-l command on the etc directory and you'll notice that there are several regular files that it shows in the output. Regular files are identified with this hyphen character which appears at the beginning of the line entry in the output. So zlogin is a regular file zlogout is a regular file and zprofile, zshenv, zshrc, they're all regular files. Let's also run this command on the slash usr slash bin directory. This directory stores user executable commands and these are all regular files. As you can see here, they all begin with, the line entries begin with the hyphen character. So all of these are commands. Znew is a command, zsh is a command, and they are all regular files. Now let's run the file and stat commands on some of these files and see what they report in the output. So let's run the file command on the etc profile file first. And it shows that this is this file contains ASCII text, which is a plain English language text. Let's run the file command again on this time on slash usr slash bin slash zsh this file and here is the output the output shows that the file contains executable data in it and it is in binary format so we cannot read what this file contains but it is a regular file now let's try the strat command strat slash etc slash profile and here is the file type regular file and stat on slash usr slash bin slash zsh again here regular file so these are regular files the file command shows the specific type of data that the file contains whereas the stat command simply states that the file is a regular file a directory is also a type of file it is essentially a logical container that is used to hold entries for files and subdirectories. There are numerous directories on a typical Linux system and you can create as many more as you want to organize your files and data. We know that slash usr is a directory and it exists on every Linux system. Let's view the long listing of this directory. ls-l ls-ld slash usr This is the directory listing for slash usr. The letter D right here at the beginning of each line entry in the output identifies the file as a directory. Now let's run the file command on slash usr and see what it reports. File slash usr and it reports that it is, it is simply a directory. And the stat command provides more information including the type of this file which is directory. Another common file type in Linux is called a softlink file. A soft link is like a shortcut in Microsoft Windows, which points to another file or directory that exists somewhere on the system. 
In case of a file, a soft link allows us to execute or modify the actual file that it is pointing to. And in case of a directory, it allows us to cd into the actual directory. There are two indications for the soft link in the ls command's long output. Number one, the line entry begins with the letter L. And number two, there is an arrowhead pointing to the actual file. And number two, there is an arrowhead pointing to the actual file or directory. For example, there is a file in the SBIN directory called VIGR. It's basically a system administrator command. So let's run the ls minus L on this file slash has been slash VIGR. And as you can see here in the output, there is the letter L right here at the beginning of the line entry and it indicates this is a symbolic file and the other representation is here which is the arrowhead. Now let's try the let's try the file command on slash has been slash VIGR and see what it reports. It says that slash has been slash VIGR is a symbolic link to the file called VIPW which is located in the same directory. And the start command reports that this is a symbolic link file. Each piece of hardware in the system has an associated file in the slash dev directory that is used by the kernel to communicate with that device. This type of file is called a device file or device special file. And it is of two types, a character or raw device file and a block device file. A character device file talks to the kernel one character or one byte at a time. Examples include a keyboard, mouse and serial port. On the other hand, a block device file exchanges data with the kernel eight characters or eight bytes at a time. And two common examples of a block device file are a hard disk and a hard disk partition. The ls command distinguishes between the two with the letter C for character and the letter B for block in the first field of the first column. Here is an example for the console device and hard disk device files in the slash dev directory. ls minus l slash dev slash console. And there is the, this letter C here that represents this device file as a character device file. The file command reports that slash dev slash console is a character special device file. And the stat command also reports the same information for this file right here, character device file, character special file. And now let's run these commands on disk partitions and disks. ls minus l slash dev slash sd asterisk. I have several hard drives and several hard disk partitions configured on this system. Slash sda is one disk, sdb is another disk, sdc and sdd, there are four hard drives. SDA1 and SDA2 are two partitions on the SDA disk. SDB1 and SDB2 are two partitions on SDB disk. And they are identified as log device file by this letter B at the beginning of the line entry. Let's run the file command on slash dash slash SDA1. It reports that this is a block special device file and the start command sda1 sda1 and it shows that this is also a block special device file so we can use the file command and the start command and we can also use the ls command with the minus l switch to identify a files type and that's it for this movie Note that the information I've shared here is general and there is more detail associated with each type of the file discussed. Thank you for watching.